Another huge weekend of pre-orders is upon us. Yep. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. As always, my name is Jay. In this video, I want to talk about this weekend's pre-orders. I would be remiss if I did not talk about it, because in my opinion, it's actually one of the biggest pre-order weekends we've had in a really long time, which says a lot. Because GW has been pumping out Warmer 40K over the last six to eight months. It's been pretty crazy. It seems like every weekend is a huge pre-order, and this is another one. Not only are we getting two new codices and battle forces, and uh, combat patrols, we're also getting a new mission pack, we're getting some, some model releases. It is just awesome sauce. But of course, before we begin, let me thank this video's sponsor, Into the AM, for sponsoring this video. I'm currently wearing one of my Into the AM shirts. I absolutely love the feel, love the way it fits, love the look. I cannot recommend Into the AM shirts enough. Plus they make a bunch of other clothing products, they're amazing. So go check out the Into the AM, link in the description below, and use the coupon code JNIGHT for 10% off your purchase. That way, you save some money, you get some awesome shirts, everyone wins. Thank you, Into the AM. So of course, this weekend, as I mentioned, there are gonna be tons of products up for pre-order. The first one is the Pariah Nexus Mission Card Pack. So gone are Leviathan, and incoming is the Pariah Nexus card pack, which is really cool. So we've been playing for about a year, and now it's time to get a bunch of new missions. So ways to play the game are going to be changing. Strategies are going to be changing. Armies are going to be changing in response to this, right? I really actually do like this a lot because it means that every year we're getting a refresher on the game. It keeps the game flowing, keeps the game alive. Uh, so, of course, it'll come with mission cards and all the other types of you know, secondary, primaries. I think they're going to change the, um, the rules for uh, the... The, gamble, the Gambits, I think that's going to be changing. I'll go over that in a future video. And of course, six new objective markers. Now also, on Warhammer Community website, they also hinted at that they're going to be releasing up large objective markers, I think. Because they did say, you know, when they get some large objective markers, maybe they'll be up for pre-order as well. I don't know. I didn't show a picture of it. But they did emphasize something about large objective markers, which would be cool, because then that way you can uh, see who exactly is within control reach of the objectives, which is pretty awesome. I'll be definitely making a video once the rules are released. I think they're going to slowly release the rules for Pride Nexus as well on the Warm Community website. And I'll be talking about them as the rules change for the, uh, the missions. I can't wait to talk about those as well. And of course, we have two new codices. We have the Adeptus Sororitas and we have the Gene Stealer Cults up for pre-order this weekend. So first, of course, there's the Sisters of Battle slash Adeptus Sororitas codices. There's going to be a normal one and a limited edition one, of course, up for pre-order. And of course, a Battle Force and Combat Patrol box set. The combat, the, I've already talked about the Battle Force, so we'll quickly skim it over. For the Battle Force, of course, it is for one of the detachments, the Armies of Faith um, detachment, and you get the, the cool new model for this particular Battle Force is the new Cannoness with Jump Pack. She looks really cool. And you also get 10 Seraphim and 5 Zephyrim, or Zephyrim, all equipped with winged Jump Packs. So they're going to be flying across the battlefield and killing a lot of stuff, which is very cool. And of course, you get a um, an Exorcist tank as well. So you get, of course, the Canonus with Jump Pack. You get 10 Seraphim, 5 Zephyrim, and an Exorcist tank. Great way to start your, your Sisters of Battle army. And it looks like it's going to be a very quick, speedy, hard-hitting detachment for the Sisters of Battle slash Adeptus Sororitas. Also, they are releasing the Munistorum Priest with Vindictor. As you can see here, he looks a little familiar because he's actually from the Blackstone um, the Fortress box set. And they're going to be releasing him as well in case you can get it with Blackstone. You can actually get this model as well for your Adeptus Sororitas army. Very cool stuff. And of course, the Adeptus Sororitas dice and data, sh data sheet cards will be available. And the Combat Patrol box set will also be available for the Adeptus Sororitas. They're getting a new Combat Patrol box set. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if there's much value in the previous one. I don't think so. But inside, you get, um, you get a, a, once again, a Canonist leading the, the uh, but it's an old Canonist model leading the squad. And you also get 10 Battle Sisters, 10 Arco Flagellants, and 5 Celestian Sacrescents. Sacrescents. I always can never pronounce these things. So basically, you got some Arco Flagellants for close combat, 
you know, you got the um, Celestian Secrescents, also really good in close combat, and then the Battle Sisters, which are a general, you know, all-purpose army. They can go any, you know, short range, medium range, you know, heavy weapon, awesome stuff there. And so that's the Combat Patrol box set for the Adeptus Sororitas. As I said, I don't know if there's as much value as the previous one, but I still think it's going to be pretty popular for people wanting to start their armies. And the Battle Force is probably going to sell up pretty quickly because it will have great value. And uh, I do actually really like the new uh, Cannonus with Jump Pack model. And then, of course, we have an amazing army that I love. It's one of my favorite fluff armies. The Gene Stealer Cult Army is also coming up for pre-order. So once again, you also can buy a special edition or the standard codex, which are up for pre-order. The Battle Force, which is called Biosanctic Blood Surge. Now, I've already done a video on this particular Battle Force, but just to summarize once again, you get uh, the new Benefictus model, which is the guy with the giant brain. Cool. Looks like a, a villain. You get um, an ab Abominant, five Aberrants, ten Neophyte Hybrids, 10 Pure Strain Gene Stealers, 2 Goliaths, or you can run them as Rock Grinders. I think the Rock Grinders actually be the better option, preferably. But if you want to run them as trucks as well, you can, um, you know, as transport, cool stuff too. But once again, great starter for your Gene Stealer called Army. I'm not going to be picking it up myself. I have enough Gene Stealer called models myself, but it has some amazing value in it. I think it's going to be a great starter set for your Gene Stealer called Army, especially in combination with the previous Combat Patrol or even the new Combat Patrol. And of course, the new Combat Patrol. Here, as you can see, I've already done a review on this as well, but it comes with a, a Jackal Alphys with five jackal, five Jackals. Uh, you get, of course, the ATV with the Jackals, an Achilles Ridge Runner, and uh, 10 Hybrid Metamorphs. And then, of course, in the new Codex, you can run them as hybrids. Uh, Neophyte, Acolyte, hybrids, Acolyte, whatever. That was hybrids. And there apparently is going to be two different uh, battle sheets, one for with flamers, one for without. Cool stuff there. But once again, cool combat patrol. I don't think it's as good as the previous combat patrol. Works very well in synergy with the new battle force or with the old combat patrol. Both are really awesome. Both great ways to start your force. Awesome stuff. And of course, you can also get the Gene Seer Cults dice and data sheet cards, which are coming out. I love the purple on the dice. They look really awesome. But this is another cool part about this upcoming pre-order weekend. It seems just like yesterday, the Orc battle force came out and the Custodes battle force came out. I only got them in May. I guess because it was a little bit later shipped to me, they're already coming out for pre-order with the limited edition characters or the, the characters that were in those battle forces. So if you weren't able to get your stomp of battle force and you really want to pick up that big mech, now's the time. So up course, of course, for, up for pre-order this weekend is the big mech model with its new awesome custom mega blasted gun or the um, the tractor gun, which is very cool. I actually still do prefer the old uh, big mech with with. Um, with his giant gun. You know, the shock attack gun to me is a better gun, I think, I feel, than the new Big Mac. But the new Big Mac model looks insane. Tons of detail, very busy model, but I absolutely love it. And it's up for pre-order this weekend. And also, of course, the Shield Captain model is also up for pre-order this weekend. So if you weren't able to get your Battle Force for Custodes and you really want to get that Shield Captain, now's your opportunity too, which is cool. So it looks like they're kind of narrowing the time between the release of the Battle Forces with their limited edition models and, or, or sort of limited release models, and the actual release of the model. It seems like it's only been like two months since the Battle Forces were even up for pre-order, and now you can order the specific new models for those kits. So if you don't want to buy the Gene Steel Cult, you know, uh, model this weekend, or sorry, you know, when it goes to pre-order, you can probably wait two months and then pick up the model on its own, which is cool. Probably less value in that sense, but still you can get it if you want it. Awesome! So there we have it. Very quick video, but all the things up for, for pre-order this weekend. The Pariah Nexus cards, which I'm going to be picking up. Possibly some new objective markers, and if so, I might be picking those up too. And of course we have two big codices, Gene Studio Cults with its Battle Force and Combat Patrol. We have Adeptus Sororitas with its Combat Patrol and Battle Force. Each one with your dice and cards if you want them too. Plus, we have the two models from two previous battle forces, the Big Mech and the Custodes Captain. Awesome stuff, right? The shield, this is amazing. Like, the, the Shield Captain, I think his name is. Shield Captain? Yeah, Shield Captain. So, this is awesome stuff. I can't wait for this weekend to see what's going to go on for pre-order, what's going to sell out quickly. There's so many cool things. I think the Prime Next cards I'll definitely be picking up, maybe the objectives. And that's probably for me. I don't think I'm going to be picking up the Gene Store Cult stuff. I'm happy with my Gene Store Cult army at the moment. And I'm, you know, I'm pretty deep into my Necron painting challenge. And then next will be my Orc painting challenge. 
which is cool. I don't know if I'll, maybe I'll pick up another Big Mac in the future too. I will see. So, stay tuned for more review videos. I can't wait to talk about the Prime Nexus rules and the Gene Steel Cult rules as well. Maybe some Adeptus Rorida's rules. And uh, keep talking about all these cool releases and, of course, painting videos as always. So, yes, stay tuned for more videos. As always, please like this video, comment in the comment section down below what you're excited about, what we'd be picking up. Are you going to be buying anything? What do you think about the Battle Force? What do you think about the Codices? What do you think? Leave comments in the comment section down below. Let's create a discussion. Please like this video and hit that bell so every time I make a new video, you get to see it. Please subscribe to my channel if you've ever done so. Stay tuned for more vids. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting your Gene Stealer Cult, your Orcs, or your Deptus Sororitas, or your cards. Paint your cards. Yes. Happy painting.